you are not in the twilight zone folks you're tuned in to the one and only three wheel bicycle podcast coming out of casper wyoming yeah we're switching it up we're doing 10 minutes on the facebook live so if you're tuning in on there be sure to click that link down below to hear the rest of the episode that's right hell yeah We're going to get into movies that you recently seen. And do you recommend them? Which is going to lead us into some interesting topics. About Scream. Not only that, Jason 6, Jason Lives... The one and only CJ Graham is going to be here July 7th through the 9th at the Wyoming Pop Culture Convention. That's right. We're going to talk a little bit about the movie. And then we got a song, The Way From Alberta. Of course, we're going to give you some history And then we're going to talk a little bit about the Jake Paul, Nate Diaz press conference. And we're going to try to get Mike Miller on the phone. It's going to be an amazing episode. I hope you guys are ready. I'm your host, Stevie V. I'm still waiting on Kelly Kapowski to call me. And sitting right next to me, the one and only... Josh, are you ready to start the show? Because I sure am. Yeah, yeah. that time of the show where we give them shout outs come from the one and only three wheel bicycle podcast coming out of Casper Wyoming we're gonna kick it off you haven't seen or eaten at you need to check out that little shop of burgers Debo's painting mobile on site oil Two bowls, tattoo, only tattoo shop and mills. That's right. You need to check out the Elite Custom Apparel. Hard and Fight Company. The one and only Trailer Park Baker. Bander Hyden Design. The Band Repent. Shivers. Them Catwood boys. Gunners UK. Little Molden Books. T Hawk Studios. And last but not least, Cute Jewelry. You just have to get into that Google or that Facebook, type it in. You will find it. But not only that, don't forget to follow Three Wheel Bicycle Podcast. We're on that Facebook, that TikTok, that Instagram. Oh, yeah. All them wonderful podcast (laughs) platforms. Oh man, I uh, welcome to the show. I seriously feel like an idiot right now. Yeah, why? Uh, we did not 
We did not include Kamikaze Kid on that fucking lineup, dude. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out to wow. Kamikaze Kid. That uh, that was my bad, my man. And oh. he's, you, you know what's uh, crazy cool about the Kamikaze Kid is he's always he's always there. Oh, he's he's right here with us on the Facebook Live. Hell yeah. I truly appreciate you. I seriously really feel bad. Right? Yeah. Oh. Dang it. Anyway, he's going to be, uh, for all the people that are, uh, tuned in to this Facebook live video because I believe that later on there's going to be more people that are uh, tuned in as well. Right, right. Um, <clears throat> Kamikaze Kid's actually going to be at the Wyoming Pop Culture Con. Right. Uh, oh, yeah. We're going to be talking about that later on uh, in the show. I stumbled upon some really cool Jason 6 stuff. Um, CJ Graham's going to be at the show. Uh, we wanted to try something different uh, today, I guess. Um, Levi, can you see that link that's down below? Please. Hopefully. If not, either or. We're right. good to go. Hell yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the show. <laughs> <Woo-hoo>. <laughs> We do got some really cool stuff for me or for you, I guess. Uh, we got a poem later on in the show. Poem. Yep. Um, really super excited to to read it on the show. Hell yeah. Um, she's a listener, longtime friend, I guess. Um, <clears throat> does it work, buddy? We're gonna we're we're gonna just go live here for a few, and then we're gonna get into the show. I I really wanted to. We haven't posted a live video for quite a while. It's been a long time. Uh, it is getting nice out, right? And I just wanted to inform all of you wonderful Facebook communities community whatever you know what's funny is looking at it right here <laughs> and and it's up there it's up there oh hey what's up yeah it is up there, uh, up there. <clears throat> we are gonna have uh some more guests on uh i'm gonna be throwing i think i'm gonna do some solo episodes too and throw some music on it as well um there's going to be oh, yeah. so many. It's summertime is going to be amazing. We're going to have guests on. We're going to, we're going to move all this stuff outside. Yeah. I'm pretty stoked. We're going to be at the Wyoming pop culture. Con. I mean, it's going to be an amazing time. It's going to kick ice. Kick. The boots. Uh, hopefully, everybody has had an uh, had an amazing week, month. Yeah, you know all those wonderful things. Uh, another thing I wanted to it's raining here to Heidi. Oh yeah. Uh, thank you for tuning in, uh, Kyla. We were just talking about this. Um. Uh. Our, so the reason why we're doing this live video is I wanted to include the link because we're only 20, we're only 20 little followers right. or oh, subscribers yeah. nonetheless. So we can actually get some paid ads. Yeah. Super stoked. <clears throat> That'd be cool. That's a goal. It is. It's a good goal. I keep forgetting the camera is up there. there. (laughs) Uh, All right. Awesome. Levi says it still works. So that is amazing. If you guys have not uh, 
Got a chance to head on over to Spotify. Um, That link, even if you're not on Spotify, uh, it should take you right to Apple, Google, whatever. All the stuff. Yep. And then share it with your friends. Hell yeah. She says adorable. Get her done. Get her done. Oh, wait. Am I allowed to say that? I don't know. Well, whatever. <laughs> I think I think it's I think it's a common whatever at this point. I don't know. Who knows? Uh-huh, I gotcha. Uh, we got some other pretty. What else do we got? We got history, of course. Um, I guess this is a very good, very good time to explain. I guess essentially what this podcast is about. Uh, we discuss uh, current events. Um, we're, we're going to start getting into like movie stuff. Um, not only on this show, but other shows as well. We're going to play music on here too. Um, and, and, and we love supporting the community. It's what we're all about. For sure. hundred percent. So I, I do a new intro every time. That's right. That's right. You do. And and that is another thing too. Um for for those that don't know, I guess and have never been on the show, I guess well, I mean, I guess the the earlier episodes we didn't have all this equipment and right. I mean <clears throat> it, it's been a pretty wild ride nonetheless. Um yeah, we've uh came a long way in my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> uh and yeah. Nonetheless, uh, what? <laughs> None the more. Uh, da, 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 da. Um, yeah. We talk about all kinds of funny stuff. Try it. Yeah, I don't know. I lost my train of thought there. Well, yeah. what do you guys think of? What do you guys think of this little uh, downstairs area? Oh, the background and stuff. Um, I painted. Yeah, it's different. The Noid. You guys can't really see the the. You know, my favorite Simpsons character of all. <laughs> Krusty. The crust. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's over there. Well, that's another thing that it's I'm gonna very have. Very good though. It's very good. That's another thing I'm gonna have down there at the Wyoming Pop Culture Con, which is going on July seventh through the ninth at the best. Western. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to get into some Jason six stuff. Um, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. That sounds weird. Um, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Uh, yeah. I I can't say the other one. Because I don't know if, if I'm allowed. Let's get it done. Yeah. We we're going to. Let's get it done. We truly appreciate everybody that's uh, tuned in to the live show or the live show. Right. Uh, Hell yeah. Right at this moment. Um, we're going to click this sucker off. And then we're going to get into the, the rest of the show. We're going to talk about Scream. We're going to get into history. Jason Six, like I said, some other really funny shit. Nice. Uh, here's another thing: if you had have been tuned in or, or listened to previous episodes uh, last week, <laughs> I was thinking about this. Uh, <laughs> remember when I said the thing about why are all odd numbers? And an E. Yes. It's not true. No. 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 Seven. It's <laughs> okay. Man. Okay. <laughs> All right, then. Yeah, I just, I see I shit, I'll to, write it down. You know what I mean? I even tried to think about it. I even tried to think about it. <laughs> All right then. Yeah. So uh, my apologies to the to the people that uh, 
was really wondering too. Called to my bluff, nonetheless, if you did. Uh, another thing we're going to do <clears throat> on the episode, we're going to call up uh, Mike Miller. He's from my hometown. Uh, it's not his legit phone number, okay? So okay. Uh, he had a, a campaign, I guess, if you call it, uh, for Mike, Mike's Hard Lemonade. And you can call this number if, uh, yeah, you need uh, Mike Miller's help with it, I guess. Sweet. So we're going to give him a call. Hell yeah. <laughs> we're going to see how that goes. Uh, and get get into the rest of the rest of the show, I guess. Sounds good. How do you man. feel about that? Hell yeah. It's going to... Yeah, that's right. Heidi, we appreciate you. Kamikaze, kid. Oh, that's another thing. Yeah, uh, it turns to green screen. I've seen it, too. Yeah. I don't know why. I, but. Yeah, it's weird. We're down Gee. here in the basement. Um, that's that. We did that on purpose. Yeah. You didn't it's know it. keep pushing the button. It's probably a ghost. <laughs> uh, please do us a favor. Uh, click that link that's down below. Um, help us out. Oh, see? see? Yep, there it was again. Yeah, push the button. <laughs> we, uh, we truly appreciate it. Um, your ears, and I guess right now you're, it'd be your eyes because you're tuned awesome. in to that Facebook Live. That's right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, you guys. All you three viewers. That's right. Love you. Have a great rest of your night and please please like subscribe share follow yeah we got the actual uh podcast link and it works it does thanks to the kamikaze kid once again for helping out with that Dude, uh, if i stick my head up real tall it looks like i have rabbit ears <laughs> from the noid uh, yeah, he actually sure. has some merchandise you can check out at Bondurant Trading Company. Hell yeah, man. You just got to head on over there. Uh, do me a favor, buddy. Uh, please uh, put that link in these uh, comments. I truly appreciate it. For sure. Peace out, Facebook. Love y'all. Oh, shit. I didn't want to go. Perfect. So, this is pretty cool. New thing, I guess, to the Three Wheel Bicycle Podcast. Uh, got tagged on Instagram. If you're on that Instagram, you can go ahead and head on over. Three Wheel Bicycle Podcast. Anyway... Uh, I've known her for a while. Uh, she's been doing these poems and whatnot. Uh, been published, I guess, uh, at some point in time. Gonna have her on the show, uh, via phone call, whatever. Um, and have her read one of these. Um, either or, uh, she tagged us in one of her poems. And I'm going to read it, and I, I truly appreciate uh, you tagging us in that and letting me read it, I guess, giving it to the world, nonetheless. <clears throat> I think it's called So Deep, I believe, by Abigail Marie. You got so deep under my skin. Where do I begin? Trying to be so free, free from all of you, so that nothing of you remains. Trying to leave behind the memories, but you're like the glitter to my mind. I can try to wash it all away, but pieces always stick, adding sparkle to my shine. Broken heart will always heal, so I am piecing it all back together, putting pieces one by one won't know all that I am until my work is done.
was pretty badass. That's the first. First poem on that Three Wheel Bicycle podcast. Thank you for letting me read that. Shit's, shit's going now. Time to gotta grab me a brewski. Gotcha. Oh, all right, cool. Thanks, man. Grassy ass. We're going to have to get uh, koozies or sponsors, one of the two. I think koozies are cheaper, though. cheaper Oh yeah, that's right. We are back. I had to go potty after that little 10 minute Facebook live video. <laughs> I can hold my bladder. Thank you everybody that was tuned in to the Facebook live video tonight. We tried something new. If you are new to our channel, uh, we welcome you. Glad you guys are here. We're gonna. Well, you already know. Can't sit here and. I 
can't sit here and repeat myself. <laughs> I guess, right? You can do whatever you want, man. Uh, so, like all the time, I'd like to ask the wonderful Facebook community what a question, I guess. Heck yeah. What's that? What's that? I'm not really feeling the background music right now. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so, as the Facebook community, uh, for the people that follow on there, well, any sort of platform of ours we truly appreciate you uh like i said we tried something new um we went live on the facebook for real i'm not feeling the background music (laughs) thanks man (laughs) that's uh, he he makes some amazing sounds. It's hard to talk when it's in your ears. <laughs> yes, sir. It is. <laughs> no, it makes you think about shit. Uh, well, it, it's not going in the the appropriate direction. Right. I'm thinking about doing like another intro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So, anywho. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, we asked the Facebook community, what's a movie that you re- recently watched? And would you recommend it? Uh, Jared, this comment, this comment, it would be a comment, or would it be a yeah. response? It's a response the to the thing. question? <laughs> comment. Uh, and you, I believe it's him, yeah. <clears throat> uh, Guy Ritchie, The Covenant was pretty good for brand new movies, yeah. If you're into blood and gore, cocaine bear, and raid field, pretty good. Shut your brain off for better enjoyment of these. If you collect 4K UHD disc, like a deal. There is a bunch of good stuff coming out. Nice. Shout out to Jared. Hell yeah. Uh, I've known Jared for many, many years. We grew up together. He's big movie buff. That's cool. I, I Have you seen any of those yet? Um, No. I haven't either. I haven't been um, trying to, well, you know, if I watch a movie, it's usually... Something to do with my kids. Yeah. Yeah, shit, yeah. Uh, I haven't seen either. I have not. I've heard. But I'm definitely writing them down. I I do know Guy Ritchie. Yeah, I seen, I, I seen like the, you know, when it like pops up or whatever. Mm-hmm. I, I seen that, but, <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I, Never, never watched it. Yes. Uh, Zach comes in barbarian. If you love the hills, have eyes, but wish it is based on <laughs> breastfeeding. This is your movie. <laughs> Sweet. Hell yeah. Sounds good. I'm going to be quite honest. I haven't watched that one. Have you? Barbarian, is that the Conan the old one? School one? I'm, I don't, I don't know. He didn't really specify, right, I right. guess. But yeah, like, like old school Conan the Barbarian. Yeah, like the Arnold Arnold Schwarzenegger one or whatever. I thought that movie was a shit. 
Yeah. I remember when I was a teenage boy, and went, I think I went to, I think I went to my brother's house and seen that actually. Oh no, sure. Yeah. Well, he, uh, oddly enough, he. Uh, do you want to read his? Do you want to read his comment? A man called Bartle says a man called Otto. Great movie. I don't remember what that is. I'm sure I've seen it. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure either. It, another thing that I wanted to say. Uh, <clears throat> I need to look it up. I yeah. I don't know about you, but um, well, I know that you appreciate people that comment on here, but like, um, the the folks that um, comment, you're actually helping. And you're drawing new eyes on things. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, So we truly appreciate it. And for uh, some of these other listeners that have never um, heard, seen, whatever, you definitely have to check these out. That's why we love when you guys uh, participate. Heck yeah. Dude, it's a newer movie. The a Is man, it? Yeah, a man called Otto. Mm. I remember seeing previews for it now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to watch that. Yeah, shit, yeah, of course. I remember it. It was some. I don't go to the movies, so when stuff comes out, I'm like, eh, cool. What? I ain't going to watch it? Oh yeah, no doubt. <laughs> what? Uh, what was one of the last movies that you watched? In and would you theater? A, any kind of movie, any kind of movie, because that's the the last. That's movie. what I put in there. The last movie I watched. Yep. And would you recommend it? Um, I think the Mario. Movie. Oh, okay. The one that just came out? Yeah. Yeah, I would recommend it. Yeah? Yeah. It was cool. Um, I wish Mario would have had an accent that sounded like Mario. Yeah. On the video game. I, you know, I did see something where uh, there was an actor that, yeah, it's the bathtub. We got the bathtub running in the background. It's bath no, night here at the Vanderhead. That's my <laughs> background music, bro. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or there was a little bit of, like, discrepancy or whatever he didn't care for because the this, that, the other. I just, um, <clears throat> I just thought he should have sounded like, it's a me, a Mario. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what he should sound like. Uh, <clears throat> but that's... Uh, Cultural or cultural appropriation or something or something. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, so buttons on your butt that's right uh so the last the last movie um that I had to watch because it's like one of those franchise style movies right yeah did you know that they have scream six no <clears throat> I do n- I did not I, I saw a preview for the new Fast and Furious movie, which, yeah, kind of blew me away. But I did not know they have a yeah. Scream Six. I well, I tell you what, I obviously we both remember the first Scream movie. Um, I'm going to get into yeah. some. Did you know about that type of thing here in a second? But I did not know that they took that franchise out that long, man. I knew Scream had been around for a while, and then when I seen it pop up, you know, I was like, 
I don't know, scream. And then it was like six. And I'm like, holy shit. That's because they all. S- the opinion. They all sucked after, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I heard. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because um, I never watched any of them. I, I kind of remember watching like s- a few of them. I watched like one, two, possibly three. It's. Yeah, it, I, I remember oh, watching five. Go away. What? Oh, it's because it was the bathtub. That's what it was. It just it's stopped. bath yeah. night. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so it's anyway, cool. so I, I didn't realize that it went out that far. Well, we watched it the other night. That that was the last movie that I watched was. Uh, Scream Six, and okay. it. I didn't. It. It was one of. It, it takes, it takes it to another level. All right. There's. Do you remember like the first couple screams? There was maybe just a couple, you know, stabbings. Yeah. What have you? Yeah, it was very. I remember, like, the first one. The, like, the premise of it, not, nonetheless. Not a bunch of murder. It wasn't gory. Yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, no spoiler alerts or anything if you have not watched um, Scream 6. Um, not bad. It, um, Like I was saying, it, it takes it to another level. Um, obviously some of the characters are not in it anymore because they died off in the last one, which sucks because David Arquette was, David Arquette's a man. Right. I agree. Um, it was, was cool. I was kind of surprised too, that Nev Campbell was not in it. Uh, she played Sydney. Uh, the reason can't say this is true or not, but, uh, there was talks that she was not getting paid enough. Which, Ooh. I mean, I guess I understand. <laughs> to be quite honest with you, uh, she started off the whole entire thing. Right. And they're trying to keep it all together. I don't know. People do get greedy after a while, I right. guess. Oh, yeah. It's uh, 100%. Uh, nonetheless, so I had to no go back and... Uh, just uh, some some weird things from the first Scream movie. 1996 is when it came out. Um, there's that bathtub again. That's no, that's the do. dragon, bro. That's yeah. the dragon. Yeah. That's the fucking tremor We're coming out of the wall. The fucking castle. <laughs> Dragons keep trying to fuck with us, but they uh, can't. They this, can't. Speaking of the castle, I finished up that uh, Jim Cornette painting that I'm going to send to man. the Cornette Castle. Dude, that thing is sweet. I'm telling uh, you. Hopefully he gives us a shout out. Um, I've been working pretty hard at every fucking thing. This podcast, the Hell artwork, yeah. everything. Um, either or. Shout Scream. out to Stevie. Scream. Oh, yeah. I keep getting off track. Okay, 1996, which is 27 years ago. Can you believe that? No. That's a long... Me either. <laughs> Did no. you know there's not actually a Woodsboro, California? I didn't know that. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> I didn't know anything about California, to be truthful. Uh, uh, Disneyland is there. No. Yeah. Yeah. San Francisco 49ers play. There's a bunch of... They're going to fall off one day. Oh, yeah. It'd be cool to see Alcatraz someday. That would be cool. Uh, yeah. So, oh, that's another thing. So when the Scream 6 movie came out uh, beforehand, all of a sudden, do you remember a while ago how there'd be, like, clown people that would just pop up out of nowhere? Yeah. Well, Paramount... Well... Before anybody found out about this, uh, there were people dressed in ghost face, the ghost face, you know, shits, get up, oh, yeah. what have you, uh, <clears throat> around town. Well, Paramount actually paid actors to do it to promote the movie. Right. 
crazy, interesting. Uh, mm-hmm. A few years ago, there was a video that popped up where there was this lady. Well, there was a there was a couple of them actually, and I don't have the links on here or whatever, but maybe some of right. you right. Uh, know or what have you. Uh, she's standing behind home plate. And she has a shirt on, and she has a big old smile on her face. And the video essentially is, what is this crazy lady doing with this weird grin on her face? Well, they were promoting the movie Smile. I see. (laughs) How crazy is that, dude? Hell yeah. Oh. Uh, there's, There's a bunch of... Uh, Halloween references in Scream. I don't know if you knew that or not. Yeah. Uh, the the movie Halloween. Yep. Yes. Uh, so it was one of the first. Do you remember when, uh, the gal at the beginning of the movie? Um, I can't remember what her name is. Uh, her real name is Drew Barrymore. Uh, when she answered the phone and everything. Yeah. Uh. She was telling them that that's what movie that she was uh, fixing to watch, I guess, nonetheless. I see. Crazy. Um, be- before she was killed, I guess. Let's see. And when, do you remember at the end of the movie when uh, the TV was dropped on top of the killer's head? Nope. Okay, either or. It was playing Halloween. Oh. All right. Interesting. Interesting. That's cool. These are. That's cool. Easter eggs. Oh, that's right. Easter eggs. And even though, uh, that, isn't that crazy? Like bunnies don't lay eggs. No, no. <laughs> if they were, they would be a keister egg, because that's the only way it could come out. Uh, boom! Boom! Yeah. Where's that fucking button? I don't remember. Uh. <laughs> Another reference to Halloween was uh, after the beginning uh, scene, I guess, when she, when Ghostface came up and got her. And then the parents came in the house and the husband told the wife, go down the street and meet the Mackenzies. Um, That was a line out of the original Halloween. Right. Some interesting stuff. That is. I remember that. I watched Halloweens. I didn't watch too many screams. I watched all the Halloweens, though. Um, something else that was very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> something else very interesting. Um, do you remember when? Um, I don't remember what her real name is. Tatum was wearing a jersey with the number 10 on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's somebody else in the first Halloween movie that wears a jersey with number 10 on it. I see. Interesting. Uh, here's oh, something yeah, okay. that I that I thought that was uh, very interesting as well. I need to quit saying that. It sounds fucking stupid. What, interesting? <laughs> Together, man. Interesting? Uh, you obviously remember when uh, dial-up was a thing. Oh. Yeah. And, and did you know you could actually make calls on that thing? Uh, yeah. Uh, so did you ever think it was uh, slightly interesting uh, when... Ghostface, I guess, nonetheless, came up, tried to get Sydney or whatever. The door shit got fucked up. And then she got on her little dial up computer. She dialed 911, hit the thing, went downstairs. Boom. There's Dewey. Yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, man, that's some pretty good reception or dial up. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, that was a. Uh... Inconceivable. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just thought that shit was kind of interesting. It is. Uh, another interesting fact 
Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis was one of Stu Baker's, um, like, a big crush, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah? Um, Who's Stu Baker? He, I don't remember who he played. There's so many fucking names, but Why you he was Baker? one of the killers. Oh. Right. Uh, he also played in Son of a Bitch. Why, why you got a bake stew? Uh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. I can't think of that fucking... 13 Ghosts. Oh, uh, I've seen that. So, anywho, that was his, like... He had, like, a little crush on, I guess, was... Right. Uh, Jamie Lee Curtis. Another reference to her in that movie is at the very end of it, when they're all sitting down there, uh, you know, watching movies or whatever. Mm-hmm. Every single movie that they uh, are going through, she plays in them. And right. there's actually a poster in the movie store, I guess. Well, not I guess because I've fucking seen that. Right. It's called it's Mother's Boy, and it's got Jamie Lee Curtis, and it's I don't know. Hell yeah, crazy stuff. That's cool. That's uh, cool. Something else that was very interesting at the very end of the movie. Remember when everybody you thought was dead? And what was his name again? I can't remember. God dang it. Um, he says, isn't this the part where this is where the part where the killer comes back to life and Sydney shoots him in the head and says, not in my movie, mm. but it is, her movie. it is her movie, <laughs> right? It is interesting. Mm. Uh, there's another thing that's interesting about that movie as well. Do you remember when they took, after like the first murder or whatever, they took all the kids into the principal's office and they would, they were questioning them. Well, uh, the one scene where Sydney comes in there and sit her down and they're talking behind the sheriff's head is a, a long list of names and it's actually some of the people that uh, did the props and stuff. Some of the people that were for on the Jason? cast. No, for Scream. Oh, for the actual <clears throat> movie. That's cool. Uh, That's awesome. Little, like, yeah, little little snippets. There's yeah. another interesting thing, too. Learned interesting. I'm fucking day. over saying that, God damn it. Uh, so, when... Uh, if anybody remembers, there was like this part in there where the kids were going around school, you know, with the ghost face things, and the principal's like, oh, take those off or whatever. Right. One of the dudes actually had the same flannel shirt on as one of the killers, Billy Loomis or whatever. Uh-huh. Yeah, that got pretty high there. That did that get that got into the red. Fuck yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Uh, yeah, crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, another fun fact, nonetheless, uh, at the end, not at the end, I guess. Uh, do you remember when, uh, there was like a kind of an introduction to Dewey, I guess, but when they were leaving the police station and Tatum, which is obviously his brother, and Dewey was like, don't talk down to me in front of my superior. And she's like, the janitor is your superior. Well, if you did not know, there is a scene in that movie where there is the janitor. And that's actually Wes Craven. Right. So just like a little, if you didn't know. Easter egg, bro. Yeah. Yeah. From Keister. Keister egg. Um, here's something else, if you didn't know. In 1993, Taco Bell had a campaign. If you eat 40 tacos, you get a Bullwinkle shirt. What? 
Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. When was that? I just said 1993. <laughs> Fucking. You're a killing me here, Winkle dude. Shirt? A Bullwinkle <laughs> shirt? Yep. Like the f- cartoon? Yeah. Wow. Rocky and Bullwinkle. 93. Oh, they did have a new movie. Back then, I remember there was a fucking movie came out. Oh, sorry. Uh, another thing, I guess that was pretty uh crazy about this week. Not crazy, I guess. Uh, it's Teacher Appreciation Week, so we got to give a shout out to all those teachers out there that got to yeah. deal with some of these badass kids sometimes, but. You know, more or less, you get the the wonderful ones, and that's why we appreciate you. For sure. Um, Today is actually May 11th is when this is being recorded. It is Eat What You Want Day. Eat What You Want Day. Sweet. So eat it up. Uh, It is actually Twilight Zone Day as well. Um, That was uh, a... It seriously almost sounds like the Twilight Zone shit. Uh, Another thing, make a book day. Okay. Make a book. All right. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hopefully, uh, being as I was just talking about Teacher Appreciation Week, hopefully some of these wonderful ideas get shared to the classroom. Make a book day. You didn't know that. Mark that down on your calendar. That's right, baby. (laughs) This episode is actually getting released uh, May 14th, Mother's Day. Happy, happy Mother's Day. To all those wonderful mothers out there. All y'all, all all y'all mothers. Yeah. If it wasn't for you, uh, I guess we wouldn't be possible, right? (laughs) I wish I would have had, I wish I would have had that queued up. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. The Dear Mama song? No. The <laughs> freaking, uh, yeah. If it wasn't for you, if it wasn't for you, <laughs> yeah. I need you. Uh, it is actually, uh, ugh, uh, May 14th is actually Bond with your dog day. Mm. Um, speaking of Mother's Day, a- I'm sure that... My wonderful gal is up there bonding. With her <laughs> dog? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure. Those go hand in hand. Mm-hmm. Uh, Stars and Stripes Forever Day also is what it is. Really? Yeah. What does that mean? What? Well, I, I, yeah. Okay. I get it. Yeah. Stars and Stripes Forever. Forever. <laughs> yeah. Forever. Yeah. I'm down. Uh, I. I live here. I'm an American. Yeah. Uh, we're going to... We're going to get into um, something a little bit different. Um, this is actually coming out of uh, Alberta. Uh, Dwayne... Wa- yeah. Uh, Dwayne... Dwayne. God damn it. Dwayne Watson. <laughs> hmm. Submitted this to me uh, for the Underground Radio a while ago. And I figured I would just play it on here. You know why? Because. It's good. Because the next topic that we're going to get into is going to be Jason Six. And I thought that uh, the title of this song was very interesting. Not very interesting. You, you, you'll figure it out. Right. Um, wanted to show him some love. Because he showed me some love. We're getting... Ugh. <laughs> Get my, my mouth is going faster than my brain or my brain, my mouth or something. Yeah. Um, nonetheless, Dwayne Watson Band... Dead Man's Whiskey. He's coming out of Alberta. We truly appreciate you. Hopefully everybody that's tuned in appreciates as well.
south of Bob Quinn Lake out on Highway 37. Two men died ahead of the Bailey Bridge all the lonesome gravel road. Two bottles of whiskey lay unbroken on the creek bank. I picked them up, took them back to camp. I drank them. No real I'm drinking a dead man's whiskey. Man, that was a pretty good tune. Hell yeah. I truly appreciate you shooting that to me via that email a while ago. Glad, glad I could get it out to a different audience nonetheless. Right. Uh, so, I had to talk about, obviously, the Wyoming Pop Culture Con um, is coming up uh, July 7th through the 9th. Um, CJ Graham is going to be there. Um, Sweet. if you didn't know, he was, he actually starred in Jason six, uh, Jason lives. And that movie was, it, it came out in 1986, which is quite a while ago. Um, Jason Tom lives came <clears throat> out in 1986. That's crazy. Yeah. It's almost like a rhyme. <laughs> uh, Tom McLaughlin was the writer and the director and the crazy thing about it is um, he never even watched a Jason movie or anything beforehand uh, so essentially I guess when he got hired or whatever 
Um, he actually went down to Paramount all the way back then. And they did like a private screening right. of the five Jasons just so you get in the mood or yeah, mood, I guess. And, uh, said he would agree to do it, I guess, but he wanted to bring a little comedy to it. And they told him, um, yes, but you cannot make fun of Jason. Right. Which obviously would take it a completely different way. Um, I guess some of the references as far as like the, the, the comedy part was like when they were sitting there playing the cards or whatever. And she's like, Jason's the Jack of Spades or whatever. Um, something else that was really crazy about it. Uh, so I guess back then when you would go to like do a film or whatever, obviously, you know, there's a title for it. Right. And back then, if you would do any sort of like slasher film, you know, okay. they'd be like, Whoa, what the, Yeah. you know? Uh, and so the name that it went under or what it was first called was Aladdin Sane. Weird. Yeah, and the reference to that was uh, David Bowie had an album called A Lot Insane. Really? Which was Tom McLaughlin's. Uh, that was the jam back then. And there was actually... That's right, Weird. baby. You're tuned in to Three Wheel Bicycle <laughs> Podcast. Uh no, but they actually have in one of the cabin scenes right. uh, one, that album on there. Crazy. Um, another thing that was pretty crazy, too. Jason was not a kid killer like Michael Myers was in Halloween. Right. Or Freddy Krueger. Mm-hmm. You're right. Interesting. That is correct. Uh, do, you re- do you remember Jason 6 at all? No, I don't think I watched Jason 6. Okay, well, I bet you, after I, I tell you this little bit, you yeah, it might come to mind. I might okay? have. Uh, there was a scene where Jason comes to life, comes back from the dead, like a lightning yeah. bolt. Yes. I, Jogging that memory? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember that guy that got punched in the heart? Yep. Okay, there was a reference before that even happened, where he said it, I don't think my heart can take this. <laughs> uh, do you remember when, uh, like at the beginning of the movie, where there was like a James Bond reference, where it was like Jason like walking up, and then all of a sudden he does like the slash move. <laughs> Um, it sounds familiar. Yes. Okay. Beautiful. That was a James Bond <laughs> reference. Was it? Yes, sir. Oh yeah. Uh, they actually used a real machete for that, and what they did was they cut open a garbage bag full of milk to give it that blood-like effect. Right. Right. Heck yeah. Very That's interesting. Cool. That's cool. Uh, something else. Uh, do you remember? Yeah, uh, I think it was maybe it wasn't like the first killing, or whatever. Okay, but there was the gal, and uh, she was trying to pay Jason off. So that way she wouldn't kill. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, there was a credit card in that movie, and it looked like the American Express. Mm-hmm. Well, American Express would not let them use their name. So she actually made a card that said American Excess. Yes. <laughs> I do remember that. Uh, there was actually a death in that movie as well. Same like an scene. Actual. Yes. Do you remember? I think it was like, a th- yeah, it would have been. Uh, well, I guess it would have been before she tried paying him off. Like Jason came and he like did that spear thing. Right. Well, I guess when it like hit the window, it went into the other direction and actually like almost hit her. Dude. 
How insane is that? I see. Craziness. Uh, something else that was kind of interesting. Uh, uh, Martin, the grave digger, he actually mocks the audience. And what he says is, some people have a strange idea of entertainment. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I remember <laughs> when he was that like, whole dude, movie had yeah. all kinds of little punches. and Yeah, crazy. And it's the only Friday that did not have any nudity in it. Really? Yeah. Hmm. See, that's a one wonderful thing about tuning in to the Three Wheel Bicycle Podcast. You Three always learn bicycle. something. Podcast. Uh, C.J. Graham, former Marine. Okay. Um, here's, well, obviously because he played in that movie. Do you remember at the end he was a Jason that got anchored down in the lake? Yeah. He was well, actually submerged 20 feet underground. Or not underground. Underwater. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Huh. And he said that oh, some of so what got could... him through it was his marine training. Right. So that was he pretty could cool. get the shot and shit. Yeah. 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 And another fun, crazy fact of that movie. So they filmed that lake scene in two different places. Really? Yeah. It wasn't at Crystal Lake? Negative. Uh, the one part where they showed the fire, I guess, that yeah. was actually filmed in a very cold lake, pond, right. whatever you want to call it, in Georgia. The Georgia? Un- the underground, that's where the movie was uh, filmed, too, by the way. Oh, in Georgia? Uh, yep, that's another little fun fact. That's rare. Boom, boom. Oh, uh, wait. <sighs> the underground or underwater parts were uh, filmed in a pool. Really? Well, that would make sense. It's kind of hard to film shit in a lake. Yeah. <laughs> it's you never know what's coming at you. You got that yeah. Jason. And get the mud all on your boots. Yeah, that was uh, just a few of the I actually seen where uh, yeah that that was just a few of the things I guess that I that Facts. I yeah picked up through there. Oh, the other thing I forgot that laser scope thing that that dude had. Oh. That thing was huge, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the thing was weird. Pew, pew. <laughs> pew, pew. Oh. It only took, I don't know, 15 pounds, maybe? Well, yeah, plus, if you think about it, like, okay, you got that big scope on there, and he, I'm pretty sure it was like, dang it, it, it looked like a magnum. Four. It yeah. looked like a it looked like, like a, a mag light. No, like a no, oh, like a gun. gun. Yeah. yeah, like it looked like a fucking Clint Eastwood. Oh, well, fucking shit. A fucking a and then it had, mag. <laughs> and it had like that other big thing on there. Yeah. Like, who are you trying to get, man? Right. I mean, I I've guess always it, wondered in movies with that big <laughs> ass gun. You're gonna pull that. Come I hope on. you don't got to shoot it more than once. If I know, right? <laughs> Especially one handed uh, old man. Yeah, craziness. <laughs> uh yeah, anyway. We got CJ Graham. He's gonna be down at the Wyoming Pop Culture Con. Hopefully we get him on. Hell yeah. Uh I guess that's one of the goals. If not, hey, no worries. Um it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be down at the best western. Head on over. And all you three-wheelers are going to be there, too, right? That's right? right. Right. Head on over to Wyoming Pop Culture on Facebook. And then it has all the, 
Yeah, where you can get your tickets and stuff. There's going to be a, a, a bunch of very interesting people there. Um, I mean, I, I, I think what I'm going to do, just like I told him, I guess, uh, I'm going to start looking into some more of these guests, you know, and then talk about them until we get there. And then I think what I'm going to do, too, is I'm going to have... Um, you know, I'm going to try to get Carla on the show, you know, so she can Hell talk yeah. about uh, the the event and how uh, she came about it, um, the process. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's pretty crazy. That'd be cool, man. That'd be cool. Um, another thing I wanted to say, too, if you have not checked them out yet, a Little Shop of Burgers, they have this amazing um, sandwich, maybe. I guess you wouldn't really call it a burger because it's not a burger but it has coleslaw that has like uh jalapenos in it you you can get it a couple different ways you can just get the pork sandwich and then you can get like the coleslaw on the side they have like macaroni i believe it's 13.99 I'm not 100%. It's a pulled pork sandwich? It is. And they have happy hour, four to six. Get on up there. You can spin that wheel. You can get 20% off your meal. That's right, baby. They serve beer, too. They sure do. (laughs) What a great episode. (laughs) It's Mother's Day. Almost. We don't. I I wonder. In like an hour. Yeah. Or something another. Yeah, it'll be something like that. Uh, we should probably get into some of the things that are happening. Yeah. Um. So if you have not been down there yet, um, get down to the Nicolaisen Art Museum, the Casper. Artist Collective is having an, a back to nature show. Um, I have some of my stuff down there. Uh, Vanderheim Design. You can check that out on Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, all those wonderful uh, platforms. I don't understand where this damn computer is not working as it should. Nonetheless, um, it's the government, bro. Yeah, there, there, there's a bunch of stuff that's going on. If I believe. Da, 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 da. Are you ready for something else that's interesting? Uh, God damn it. <laughs> Albert Einstein's last words were in German to a non-German Speaking woman. No That's one it. no one knows what he said. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's cool as fuck. I'm down for that. Huh. I need to I need somebody to tell me what they were. I'm gonna get that shit to I know. Out. I was I was wondering that too. Um so if you're in and around uh the Casper Barna and Douglas area, all, all those wonderful areas. Uh, they're going to be having some neighborhood yard sales uh, Saturday, May 20th. Garden Creek Hills Community a Yard Sale. Sweet. Man, I don't know about you, but I love I love rummaging. Right. Hell yeah. Uh, it looks like Saturday, June 10th, Barna Early Neighborhood. Sale north of Casper. Yep. She yeah, bud. Uh Saturday, June seventeenth, Evansville neighborhood garage sale. Man, there is so many. Right? So many. What? Uh if you just head on over if you're on that Facebook, head on over to What's Up Casper, Wyoming. Um and just check out the page. They there there's so many there's, things. It, it, there is there's lots of cool stuff on there, man. Um, we cannot forget about B Diesels. Right, right. 
located in Mills, Wyoming. Heck yeah, right across from the post office. Right next to... They got lunch going now. They got lunch specials. Right across the street from Two Bulls. Yep. Uh, Another really cool thing. The Werner Wildlife Museum. At the Casper College. There's only two more of these bird identification classes left in the series. Oh, you better hurry up and get there. Um, Tuesday, you know, it were, it were, it were. so it would be <clears throat> one <laughs> more class as we're recording this later. Uh, so Tuesday, May 16th, uh, at 7 p.m. Hell yeah. Check uh, her out, man. It looks like uh, biology. There's a biology instructor. So you know it's no joke. Make sure you check that out. I mean, it's always good to learn stuff. You know what I mean? It is. Like, that's the, that's one thing that I truly hope that people get. Out of all of this is that they learn something. Here's another amazing event. Uh, June 16th through the 18th, uh, the Nick Fest. More than likely, you'll see me down there as well. Hell yeah. It's because I love, love throwing out the art. And then we have, that would be June. Mm Mm-hmm. June 3rd. That would 7 p.m. Oil City a Beer Company. We got chemo. Strange by choice. Cryptic encounter. Make sure you check that out. Please. And just, uh, just head on over to that page. You'll see all these it's, other... It's, um, it's good. It's amazing. It's, just because I, I tell you what. I, me personally, and, and and so does Josh, we love giving you all of the local events that are going on, the concerts and whatnot, right. but unfortunately, that would take up all of the show. Right, right. So, check it out, man. What's up, Casper? W-Y. Just check out the Facebook page, or if you haven't been on there yet... Head on over to our Facebook page because that's another thing I like to do is just give to you the goodness. That's the rap, baby. Hell yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, yeah. All right, some more, some more crazy. Some more. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Some more, some more of what? <laughs> Chakra in in marshmallow. I <laughs> there is gonna be uh speaking of that, Smalls is gonna be at that Wyoming pop culture con as well. Hell yeah. Um and yeah yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's gonna be <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh do you I don't man, I I guess I'm speaking in the aspect. Oh. Of the <laughs> listener. Good thing you said. And not you. Good thing you said pecked after that. Pecked. <laughs> uh, yeah. So for the listeners, do you remember Thomas the Train? Everybody yes, remembers. Yes, I do. Very much so. There is an episode of that when it was raining outside. And he didn't want to go out. Okay. And the conductors bricked him into that cave. Oh. <laughs> They're like, I'll piss on you? Yeah. Done for. Yep. <laughs> piss off, Brick Thomas. Bullshit. <laughs> we'll just lock poor, you in poor here. Poor guy. <laughs> All right. Well, no, I don't remember that. But, yeah. Crazy. That's pretty crazy. 
I don't remember that episode. He's just sitting there with tears. <laughs> well, maybe that, that, you know, you never got locked in a closet before? <laughs> it's a children's show, though. Yeah, that's what you do to your kids. Lock them in the closet if they don't listen. <laughs> JK. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was. Uh, we getting oh, that laugh track's long as fuck. Oh yeah. Do you want to hear something else? That's okay. what I love about this show because, uh, uh, I mean, yes, I do write stuff down because I don't have a big brain. <laughs> Everybody's got to come back to stuff. Speaking of laughs. Um, did you know that most laughs you hear on TV are from the 1950s? Mm-hmm. So you're actually hearing dead people. Yeah, I did. I didn't know that. It's pretty crazy. It is. I mean, why <laughs> fix it if it ain't broke? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so I wonder if this is like the same. Yeah, this, our laugh track, are these dead people? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Do they sound like they're from the 50s? <laughs> uh, well, you know, so the people that uh, have been tuned in, uh, that, that, are, that are into the fight stuff, the UFC, mm-hmm. uh, boxing, all that stuff, uh, we've been talking about the, the Jake Paul uh, Nate Diaz fight, and the other day they actually had a press conference. Um, that was very interesting. Um, the thing that I thought was extremely funny was so you know, they're sitting there talking and they're getting questions and stuff, and uh, Nate spits out, Where are all the normal people at? <laughs> This is a rookie-ass press conference. <laughs> I see. I I don't know. I Like I've said before, I've always been a fan of Nate Diaz, and I thought it was funnier and shit. And then when I was watching the video, too, I guess the, or whatever, the press conference, mm-hmm. someone on YouTube had commented, how did Nate... Walk in there with that water bottle. <laughs> and somebody had commented, Are you wearing a fucking wire? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> My reaction? Heart. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, it was too funny, though. But uh, there was somebody else that actually, <laughs> uh, he took a question. And uh, was talking about how he wanted to get on the undercard of the fight uh, because he wanted to beat his brother's ass. Nice. And the stupidity from that person even asking the question and then later finding out he was on Jake Paul's payroll. But why would you ask Nate Diaz... That sort of question, or even try to insult his family at that point in time. Right. That is probably the dumb. That's just like, that's just like any sort of hip hop artist that tries to like diss Eminem. Like, are you are you fucking kidding me right now? Right. <laughs> but uh, but yeah. Then later he got up and he took a piss, and then, uh, well. I don't. Re- I think his name is like a uh, shit. I can't remember, but the guy that announces sometimes or or whatever, he uh, he said that the event wasn't open up to the public, and then there was going to be another one. Uh, the fight's actually going to take place August fifth, um, but the funny thing was Nate Diaz said, "I don't know. We'll see if I can make it." Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, I am super excited. I think I'm going to have to put some coin down, um, just to watch this. Um, I would love to actually go there. Um, 
Well, you know, right. right right before you got here, I was, you know, looking at stuff just to look at it up close it's and personal. Crazy <laughs> 3G. Yeah, it's crazy expensive. Uh, yeah, go fund me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Send me to Nate Diaz. But... Um, did you know that the King of Hearts is the only king without a mustache? Yes, I did. I did know that. Do you know what the Suicide Jack is? The one that... Yeah, what what suit is it? Jesus. I can't... Jack of Hearts, I think, isn't it? Yes, it is. It took me a minute. I haven't looked at a... Man, I've been really wanting to play poker again. Me too. I was in Deadwood and was like... Man, I want to sit down at one of them tables, but it's intimidating. It's like I don't even know how to do this. I've I've done it <laughs> once, like at like a legit thing, right. but it, it would be fun to do it again. Right. I would have done it with somebody else with me, but like by myself, I'm like, yeah, I'll just go sit at that slot machine. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I I seen this crazy hack today. Oh, I guess. Was she was she ugly or? <laughs> oh, you said hack. Yeah, not, not hag. hag. Oh, no. okay. <laughs> uh, so you take a bar of soap, I guess. Uh, from what I've seen, it's an Irish spring bar. Mm-hmm. Uh, put it in a pot. Take a can of Coca Cola. You dump it in there, bring it up to a boil once it's all, you know, dissolved. Okay. You put it in a Tupperware container. Oh, excuse me. Let excuse it dry. Me. Let it dry. Mm-hmm. Or whatever. And you can take it. And you know how, like, on some of your pots and pans, there's that white film? Mm-hmm. Takes it right off of there. Really? Yep. So that's uh, another... You know another hack with Irish Spring? I don't. If you have a garden and deer keep coming in your garden, or lots of different animals, um, they hate the smell of Irish Spring. You can, like, cut slivers off and, like, shave it all around the edge of your garden. And deer will not come in your garden. Really? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Don't know what it is, but they don't like the smell of it. Your Irish spring. Yeah. Keep shit out of your garden with some Irish spring. <laughs> we should get paid for that. I'm surprised nobody's bitched about like the fact that it's called Irish. Well, Irish people are usually drunk. Uh, Touche. Touche. Did you know in 1934, there was a dust storm that blew across the country, making it hard for the farmers? Yes. Some history. Back in when? Uh, It would have been May of that. Well, we're just... Yep, 1934. 1934. Was that the Dust Bowl? Yep. Yeah, I went and worked down in Texas, and people talk about it down there still. Pretty crazy. 1934, some of the history for you. Hell yeah. Uh, 1981. Josh Fredrickson was born. 1981. Yeah, you ever meet that guy? He's pretty cool. No, not Anyways. on this date, but yeah. Bob Marley died at 36 from melanoma. Melanoma? Yeah, if you do not know what that is, it's a skin disease. Yeah, skin cancer. Bob Marley, he was a man. I thought he was like killed by the man or something. There, there are lots of crazy conspiracies. Mm. I thought he was taken out because of his... Beliefs. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't doubt it. 
You know what I mean? Because it seems like a lot of the people that actually come out and are like, you know. Special? And have some shit to say? Yeah. All of a sudden, um, yeah. Speaking of that, one of the top most aired uh, series on Hulu was the Tupac Shakur one with Buffany in it. Yeah. Based around, um, well, of course, Tupac Shakur and Afeni Shakur. Uh, the crazy thing is about watching some of those, like, I don't know, I've been watching that shit ever since I was a kid, you know what I mean? Right, right. But, like, there was shit on there that I didn't even know, dude, you know? Yeah. Like, there was always this video where, like, he, like, you see him... Hanging out the passenger seat, flipping, flipping off the camera, and is like, "Fuck you, motherfucker!" Blah blah blah. blah. I didn't know that he got kicked out of the, like his venue or whatever for smoking weed. I mean, I guess I get it. Probably shouldn't be doing that, but uh, I seriously didn't know that. But for years, you know what I mean. It's like, "Eh, I wonder why. But one more thing. Um. Maybe have a minute in between. We should say, come on down to the little shop of burgers and get that creeper. Yeah, that's, that's what we sandwich. were just talking about. But it is, it is slathered with house-made barbecue. It's smoked brisket. Yeah. It's pretty delicious. Smoked brisket. It's got the jalapeno slaw on there and Memphis barbecue rub all on the meat. All up on it. And they're located. It looks delicious. I, I mean, my mouth is watering looking at it. So. Yeah. And they got some mac and cheese. Oh, hell yeah. So good. 1040 North Center Street, Little Shabba Burgers. You can give them a call, 234-3472. You can call in, and there's the DoorDash. Right. Or you can, you know, take out. You should come in, too, though, because there's lots of uh, crazy knickknacks. Knickknacks. All the decorations and stuff, dude. Yeah. It's cool in there. It's like, you know, it's based around little, you know. Horrors. Yeah. Should we, we're going to try to, let's try to call Mike Miller here. Oh, yeah. 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 I've been trying to. Follow this. I, I I believe that we have everything. Yes. The only thing that we have not yet to do. So, okay. Uh, a while ago, I believe I actually talked about this on a show one time. Um, Mike Miller, he's from my hometown. Not that it matters, but... Uh, he had this campaign for Mike's Hard Lemonade. And there's a phone number. So I figure, you know, what the fuck, man? Try to call it. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Let's see what it says. We'll see what happens. One eight six six. talk to Mike. So T is 8. A would be 2. Oh, man. What do you think the odds of this are going to be? I don't know. Fucking slim to none, probably. But. How long ago was it? Um, It was a few weeks ago. It's probably still good. I don't think this is. Uh, this doesn't make sense. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Well, it said it was supposed to be talk to Mike, but 
That's way longer than the actual phone number would be. You know what I mean? Yes, very much. Talk to Mike. Unless you include the area code. Mm. Well, we're going to bring it up here. We're going to bring it up on the Facebook page. What does it say? Yeah. I mean, oh, here we go. See? Isn't that what it says? It does. It says call our comeback hotline. Hotline. Do you have pep talk from Mike Miller? 21 plus. Dude, I don't know, man. Okay, so when when did this come out? March twenty fourth. Okay, I was just making sure it wasn't April first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, one eight six six. It's too talk. many numbers, bro. T A. Oh, T A L K. To Mike. It's. You did, actually, you probably spelled talk last time. It's just T-A-L-K. Isn't that how you spelled talk? Well, it's we're just going to call many. this, Mom. It's, it's still too <laughs> many. Yeah, that's how you spell talk. <laughs> it's <laughs> too many. It's too many numbers, bro. Okay, let's see what we get. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Mm. Busy. It's pretty because it's not a real number. That's what it says, though. Boo. Yeah, that's that's kind of stupid, man. Just do one. Talk to Mike, because that would be the the right amount of numbers. You think so? Yeah. One. Talk. To. No. Here, wait, hold on. Yeah. No, we'd be missing one. Hmm. So it'd be one T A L K two M I K E. That's messed up, bro. It is, man. Fucking false advertising, We're man. We're going to sue. What a bunch of... Man. Yeah. Wow, Joey Holler. Dude. Joey Holler, you're full of shit. What a joke, man. Oh, Hoffer. Hey, Sorry. just to let everybody know, not everybody from Mitchell, South Dakota is fake as fuck. It'd never be a sellout. That's right. Right. Um, well, that's a bummer. I mean, I was hoping to get uh, some kind of collar. Right? Yeah. For sure. Oh, shit, man. Either or. It's been a great episode. It has been. I, I fucking loved it. So far, it's right. been a great episode. We've done real good. Uh, it might have been, it might have been a little bit longer of a one, but it's all right. Uh, it's been a damn good time. Hell yeah! We were on that Facebook Live for a little bit. Yes, we were. Um, oh, excuse me. Um, if you're wondering how to get on that, uh page or how to follow that or whatever and you're listening uh head on down them sh- show notes uh that's where that link's at uh we're on the youtube obviously the facebook the instagram spotify uh the twitter's getting the twitter's getting some love on there too sweet um trying to get some more of the tiktok too um, Jim, Co- too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I don't know about you, but I am not blue. <laughs> Uh, Jim Cornette actually gave us a shout out too. I just remembered that. Hell yeah. Uh, but yeah, there was a there was a new video that I put up on the TikTok or whatever that was the actual shit. Right. Either or, right. <clears throat> we truly love everybody that has uh been tuned in. Um, getting a lot of love on them older episodes. Hell yeah. To which is badass. Um. I've been rocking this shit for fucking quite a while. There's a lot of good content on years. the other part of the show. <laughs> years. Years. If what you're, you? if you're, whatever, whatever platform you're listening on, it was pretty cool. The Shivers one popped up the other day, and I noticed there was other people that started liking on the page, and I'm like, yeah. or not the page, the the platform, the, right. the Spotify, what have you. Uh, I truly appreciate you guys. Um, you just make it that much more better for me because it makes me feel like I'm actually doing it for something. Hell yeah. I mean, I am obviously for my own self. No, we're you know doing what it I mean? for everybody. <clears throat> yeah. 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 For the peeps. Yeah. For the three wheelers. Yeah, and for Stevie, I'm giving. I'm, I'm. I'm. This is like my meditation. Right. I guess that's why sometimes I get mad if it doesn't go right. right. <laughs> you know, yeah. understandable. Like, fuck, come on, <laughs> damn it, <laughs> why? It's crazy. Dumb, stupid shit. <laughs> it's good, though. It is. And hopefully everybody got something out of this episode, right? Hell I yeah. mean, I that's what I try shit. to That's what I try to do, too, is try to hopefully somebody gets something out of this. Right, for sure. And we are super excited for the Wyoming Pop Culture Con coming up July 7th through the 9th. Hell yeah! Not that best, best Western. Full show. It's gonna be super fun. It is gonna be fun. I can't wait. You're gonna you're gonna see us down there. You're gonna see uh, some of my artwork, uh, the Vanderheiden design stuff. Like I said, if you're curious about any of this stuff, head on down. Just. Down them show notes, you know. Mm-hmm. Follow, like, show some love, share. We truly appreciate you guys. One hundred. Uh, I'm your host Stevie V. Signing Josh. off. Yeah, and this is. This has been a wonderful episode of Three Wheel Bicycle Podcast. It has been. We're coming out of Casper, Wyoming. And Straight out the basement. That's right. And the people that are listening right now, it's Mother's Day. And we truly appreciate all of you wonderful. Fantastic. Mo- mothers. Mm-hmm. And followers. Followers. Listeners. All that wonderful stuff. Mm-hmm. Peace be with you. Is that? <laughs> yeah, sure. Peace the, peace the F out. Peace out. Let's see what we got here. Well. Hey, I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah.